All right, all right. This is uh, Concrete Jungle. Tommy Dangerously here. I'm here with Fast Eddie Chambers. Eddie, first of all, pleasure, my man. Me myself, I, I feel you know the bros are getting old. Once they're gone, you're gonna be the man. <laughs> That's what I believe. All right, all right, no doubt about it, my man. Thanks. Yeah. You're 36 and three, 18 KOs. You got 257 wonderful rounds boxed. You're a season. You're a season vet. You know what? Why boxing? Why? Well, actually, my, my my father was a fighter, and he actually fought uh, Ray Leonard in the amateurs. And uh, he never really got a chance to turn professional. Um, and uh, you know, I guess, and then all, and also, he was always picked on in school. It wasn't so much school. It wasn't so much being just physically picked on, but the verbal abuse and things like that. You know how kids can be cruel, and some kids can be cruel to other kids. And um, yeah, and, um, no different. You know, it happened to me. Um, you know, so my dad got tired of hearing hearing it, you know what I mean, hearing about it from different people and, you know, telling them about people talking about me and my clothes and things. Hey, I wasn't rich as I was coming up, you know what I mean? It was a humble beginning, so, um, I actually came to, uh, my dad came to the conclusion, say, well, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to go, we're going to take him to the gym and make him, can not only give him some confidence, but make him a monster, you know what I mean? Make him, make these kids run, run away from him rather than run into him, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Uh, so, uh, that's really where that, where it started. I mean, my father was into boxing. Uh, nobody really else, nobody else down the line really was, but, uh, but him. Yeah, that's great. Who was your favorite as a kid? What boxer did you, like, try to emulate or practice his style the most? Well, when I was coming up, you know, like most kids when they're in their, you know, early stages of their life, and, you know, my dad was a big boxing fan, so he, Obviously, he was a big boxing fan. He was in boxing, so he always watched the fights. I watched the fights, watched the fights with him. So I seen a lot of like Mike Tyson when I was coming up. You know, what I mean, everybody loved Mike Tyson. Oh yeah. And uh, my, my dad, of course, loved Ray Leonard. I mean, not just because he fought him, lost to him in the amateurs, but because of uh, you know just admiring his ability. And, and, and my dad was like, a, like pretty, you know, he's a really pretty good fighter in his own right at his time, and and knew about the sport, understood the sport. But I actually took a liking to like guys like Evander Holyfield. For most of the time, I was watch him as I came up, you know, I never really thought of it that way at the time, but I was always watching his fights, I loved what he was able to do, but um, the one I really, really spent a lot of time just like watching and admiring once I really started to compete was guy, what I got was, was uh, Shane Mosley and uh, Floyd Mayweather, those two guys were, were and, and, and also Roy Jones, I mean, I watched a lot of Roy Jones, you know, my dad wasn't the biggest fan in the world of Roy Jones as we were coming up, but learned to love him as he got, as he got better, I mean, as he got older and, and, and better yeah. the years. Those were the main guys that I really watched a lot of, really, really, uh, really appreciated in my younger years as I moved on up. So, um, as I, as I got older and started to really watch stuff, I started to really be, I, I started to really to admire James Tony. Because not a lot of people think of James Tony as an extraordinarily skilled fighter because, you know, James likes out Tony and his crazy stuff he says in his, in his uh, interviews and all of that stuff, which is, you know, which is fun and I mean, funny and everything. And it, and it, it, it is uh, interesting, but people don't really look at his credentials and then look at, and, 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 and pick up on some of the little things he does, little nuances that he, he, did he uh, how he performs up in the ring. You know what I mean? Like different, like his jab and different moves that he makes, the steps, different things that older fighters were doing that he studied over, over time. And, and I really started to really come to, appre come to appreciate his boxing ability and his boxing style. James Tony, uh, he got in, in, into too many uh, uh, games when he fought Roy Jones. He, he could have actually had a really, really good chance, but nobody was better at the games than Roy. Exactly. And Roy, you know, his athletic ability was just something on another level with a lot of these different athletes. Even, even athletes in other sports. Like, I mean, he just had the gift, you know what I mean, of athleticism. And yeah, he was able to use it. However, that kind of comes back to haunt you. And I think that's where, you see, uh, uh, James Tony's longevity in the sport. Guys like him who can still be around. And even at this stage now, he's a little bit too, too far gone, but I, in my opinion, but... He still, even a few years back, was a very, very, very strong opponent, and a lot of people wouldn't want to get. He actually almost had, had almost had, he actually really had the heavyweight title, if not being um, after not being called a no contest for steroid use. From you know, well, I'm not sure exactly if he was using steroids, but he lost the title based on that. But I mean, you can see the longevity. 
And the reason him guys like him, guys like Bernard Hopkins, are able to stay later in their career because they're not taking a whole lot of punishment. They're in it, well, at least at this stage, and I mean, well, at least at the earlier stages of their career, wasn't taking a lot of punishment. And Bernard is one of those guys who can have uh, have ugly fights and and um, still, you know, and still win. You know what I mean? And still make it interesting. So I, I like those fighters. Like I'm a James Tony. Like I said, I mean, I'm, uh, Bernard. I like Bernard, but it's not one of my favorite favorite fighters as far as like. You know what he's done in in, in in the ring. Now what he now what he's accomplished, of course. You know what I mean. You gotta love, him. but more, I like the style more of a James Tony, the more sort of cutesy kind of thing. Like the things like the, 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 the guys like in the past, like um, Jersey Joe Walcott, Nezu Charles, those kinds of guys that a lot of people hear of but never really seen before. I'm really I'm, I could really appreciate that more and reason they had longevity and they were able to fight way past, way into their 40s and stuff like that is was because of the ability and the skills that they learned later not so much later on but throughout their career and was able to you know maybe t- take less punishment stay longer even when they slowed down because they were able to figure it out you know what I mean figure right. out the little things get yeah. you to you know to get you through a fight without having to use too much athleticism <laughs> 